Dr. Sudi. Welcome to my very first video on vascular disease. Today I thought I would talk about a condition that affects millions of men and women around the world. And that condition is superficial venous disease, or what is known as chronic venous insufficiency, or CVI. Now, there are two sets of veins in your leg. There are the deep veins, which are deep within the muscle, and this is where most of the blood is flowing in your leg. And then there are the superficial veins of the leg, which are right underneath the skin, about one centimeter underneath the skin. Now, remember, the arteries carry blood from our heart down to our feet, and the veins take the blood from our feet back up to the heart. But our veins have to work against gravity, which is very difficult. And so Mother Nature invented valves. These are one-way valves that push the blood up towards the heart. Now, you can see here, this is a valve that is in the open position, and the direction of blood flow is up, to, is up towards the heart, and this is a closed valve. And so generally, what's happening is the valves are like this. They are pushing the blood up towards the heart, okay? Now, over time, as we age due to other risk factors such as genetics, prolonged standing, prolonged sitting, uh, obesity, whatever the risk factor may be, those valves, they stop working. And they instead stay in the open position. They are malfunctioning. And that's what we are showing here. Now, when the valves are in the open position, and you are standing for prolonged periods of time or sitting for prolonged periods of time, gravity is able to pull the blood down the veins and towards the floor. And that's why you end up with heaviness, fatigue, ankle swelling, and all the other symptoms of CVI. Now, in the diagram here, the femoral vein is the main deep vein of the leg. There's another backup vein called the profunda femoral vein, which I have not drawn for simplicity's sake but the deep veins also have valves in them. But they also have the added benefit of being deep within the leg and deep within the muscle. So even if these valves start to malfunction, if someone is doing a lot of exercise, what happens is when you take a step forward, your thigh and calf muscles contract and they squeeze this deep vein and the blood shoots up back to the heart. However, the superficial vein, which is seen here, this is called the great saphenous vein. That is the main superficial vein of your leg. It starts in your groin and goes all the way down your inner thigh and uh, your inner leg all the way down to your ankle. And it is just one centimeter underneath your skin. It is sitting above your muscle. So it does not get the benefit of muscle contraction. So even if you exercise, you may not get significant improvement. And so all that blood that is pooling here in the great saphenous vein really has nowhere to go. So what we have to do is we have to give patients a compression stocking. That compression stocking is like an external muscle. It squeezes the blood out of the saphenous vein and then the blood goes back up to the heart. So what's really happening when someone develops CVI is that these valves here are not, are not working, okay? They are not pushing the blood up, okay? So we're just gonna draw them sort of like that because they're in the open position. And so what happens is the blood that's coming up from the femoral vein comes up like this and it makes a U-turn into the saphenous vein because the valve is not opening and closing. The valve here cannot prevent the blood from um, from going down the saphenous vein. When blood goes backwards down a vein, whether it's the superficial vein or the deep vein, we refer to that as reflux or insufficiency. So this is called saphenous vein reflux, and the blood is now going to go backwards down the vein. And over a period of time, the patient will start to develop heaviness, fatigue, bulging varicose veins, uh, restless legs, night cramps, skin discoloration, and in the uh, late cases, uh, they may develop venous ulcers. Now, how do we treat 
CVI? Well, it's actually very simple. One of the ways in which we treat it is through a procedure called thermal ablation. And there are two types of thermal ablation. There is laser ablation and radio frequency ablation. Both of them are equally good. There are other uh, types of uh, treatments such, such as uh, foam sclerotherapy, uh, which is also uh, very good. But regardless of what uh, treatment modality it is given, the underlying premise is the same. And what we do is in the case of uh, laser ablation, we take a catheter that is about the tip of this uh, size of this uh, marker tip. And under ultrasound, uh, using just local anesthetic, we put it into the saphenous vein. And we watch that catheter go uh, under ultrasound all the way up here. And at the tip of the catheter is a laser. And using heat, that laser will weld this vein closed. And so what you are left with is a sealed off, is a sealed off vein that now looks like this. So what happens is the blood comes up the femoral vein, tries to make the U-turn into the saphenous vein, and it can't because it's been welded shut, and instead the blood goes up the iliac vein, up the vena cava, and back to the heart where it belongs. I hope this video has been educational for you in describing uh, chronic venous insufficiency. Since this is my first video, I'd appreciate any comments or feedback that you can provide.